Pro hockey player Corey Perry, a veteran winger for the Chicago Blackhawks, had his contract abruptly terminated this week over what the team is calling unacceptable behavior. But they aren't giving any details on what actually happened. And that has led a wild rumor to catch fire that Perry was cut for having an affair with the mother of a star teammate. It started last week when Perry was what's called a healthy scratch, meaning he was able to play but didn't for the Blackhawks against the Columbus Blue Jackets and hasn't been with the team since. Over the weekend, the team announced that Perry would be stepping away for the foreseeable future, and it was their decision. Then Perry's agent put out a statement seemingly contradicting that, saying Perry was dealing with personal matters. That's when the speculation about rookie teammate Connor Bedard's mom kicked into high gear, something the team flat out denies. This does not involve any players or their families, and anything that suggests otherwise, or anyone that suggests otherwise, is wildly inaccurate, and frankly, it's disgusting. So then, what happened? The team says the decision came after an internal investigation showed that Perry had violated both the terms of his contract and Blackhawk team policy. But how? Again, the team's GM in his press conference saying the team wants to be open and honest and yet said basically nothing. This has been a tough situation and I understand you wanted answers. It was important that we took all the necessary steps before sharing more. I hope you can understand that I may not be able to answer everything today, but I am going to be as open and honest as I can be given the situation. By saying nothing, they're almost feeding these rumors. Something happened, right? Perry, who at the time was the team's third leading scorer, signed a one-year deal in the summer to help lead the Blackhawks' more inexperienced young roster, including Connor Bedard, who the team chose first overall in this year's draft. And making everything a little weirder was the fact that the team GM, Kyle Davidson, seemed to choke up talking about the whole thing yesterday. It's obviously uh, been very tough. Um, yeah, it's been a tough couple of days. Why so emotional? I mean, ESPN's reporting something happened between Perry and a team employee last week, which prompted them to remove him from the team. The Blackhawks revamped many of their policies after an investigation had found they badly mishandled a player's allegations that he was sexually assaulted by an assistant coach during the team's 2010 Stanley Cup run. They ended up settling a lawsuit from the player. Now they're facing another lawsuit about the same coach from another former player filed this month. It's just all so bizarre and mysterious. Joining us now to try to make some sense of all of it is Eric Mac Macromala. He's the host of the nationally syndicated radio show Offside on TSN, where he covers sports and law. He's also an attorney and has been covering Corey Perry and the Blackhawks closely. Thanks very much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right, so let's first get the first thing out of the way. Any truth to this business about uh, the affair with a mom? No, there's no truth. And really, you can answer that question just from a legal standpoint, that um, something unlawful or untoward has to occur for an employer to be in a position to terminate a hockey player for cause, that is fire them and not pay them what's due on their contract. And a consensual sexual relationship would inform the basis of a termination. So there's no truth to it, and I can confirm that there's no truth all to right. it. Let's start. Right. Now, now that we've ended that one, um, why is the team being so vague about this? I mean, why won't they you know, at least talk in broad strokes about the type of violation that we're talking about? They have been vague, and I think intentionally vague, because this may well involve an employee uh, for the Blackhawks that may have been harassed in the workplace. And if that's the case, then as the employer, they have a duty to maintain that information and to keep it confidential for both parties. And I say that because during the press conference, very little was revealed. But when I was listening carefully, Kyle Davis, the general manager, just played a clip of him speaking. He referred to this issue as, quote, a workplace matter, not once, but twice. So when I heard that as a lawyer, I'm like, huh, that's interesting. And then you look at the high bar you need to terminate someone, to fire them with cause. It's really, really high. You put those two circumstances together, and you're left with a suggestion 
that Corey Perry may have engaged in workplace harassment. That could look any number of ways. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.